Hey everybody, welcome back. Now I'm going to be revisiting the HDPE series that I started a little while ago. I know I was meant to follow up on this, but do you remember that blank we made? Well, there was a few issues with it. I mean, I had to cut it up in the end because I thought I could remelt it, as I said before. But if you have a look inside, there's loads of voids. Now, I made a round, I put it onto the lathe, and it started to turn in really nicely, but then once it found those voids, it just started catching and blowing out. And because it is so hard, it was really doing a number on a lot of the tools. I think even a gouge that I used, it just bent the metal. It was really quite tough. So, yeah, that didn't work. But if you have seen the video where I made the tables, I told you that a friend of mine bought both of those pieces of wood round. A few months ago, a friend of mine came round and uh, he dropped off a few bits and he opened up his boot and he said, there you go, that's yours. And he bought me this. And he's bought me another toy to play with. And here it is. How cool is this? So, what is it? Well, technically, it's a shredder, but it's a hardcore shredder. Now, if we take this off and have a look inside, lots and lots of teeth. Now this is all powered by this motor, goes through the gearbox and it turns roughly about 70 revolutions a minute. Now my friend got all of the details for this shredder off of a website called Precious Plastics. Now I'm going to leave a link below in the description. I highly recommend you go in and check this out. If you want to get into HDPE, melting and making your own blocks, then this is the kind of kit that you need. Now obviously something like this isn't going to be coming cheap. You can buy the machines ready made off the website and they range in price. Anything up to about £1,300. But my mate, he made this himself for roughly around about £800. And that might sound a lot of money, but ideally he wants to start renting this thing out. People can come round, bring their milk bottles and shred them down into things like this. Now, I think we've been shredding for about two hours and I've probably filled up about a quarter of this heavy black bin bag. Saves a lot of cutting with a pair of scissors. And it saves the wife's hands as well, because I ain't doing it. So I suppose what you really want to do is watch this thing in action. I've taken some footage and this thing eats plastic. It really, really does. I mean, it still gets bunged up a few times, but it just saves so much hassle. So again, I highly recommend going and check out the website Precious Plastics and going to see what those guys do, what they do for the environment and the things that they do. All their software and all their plans as well are absolutely free. So if you want to make yourself one of these, you can go on, download all the plans, all the things that you may need to make something like this and then make it yourself. Now, Talking to my mate, he has told me that if he shopped around for all the different pieces, he could have made it a little bit cheaper. But when you're working with a motor this size and the gearbox, it doesn't come cheap. So here we go in action.
hopefully this is going to melt down a lot easier because they're a lot smaller I'm hoping that it's going to melt quicker and more evenly when I done it before I was using some really big pieces of plastic and I think that's where I got all the voids and it just didn't turn out very well so we're going to move over to the oven now and start melting this plastic and we're going to still use the same mould as I did before. We'll see what it's like. I may move over to a metal one, I'm not too sure. But we'll see how it goes with the MDF mould that we made before and see if it comes out any better. So here we go. So it's been in the vise for about two or three hours now. I'm hoping that it's cooled down enough. I can't physically tighten it anymore. And as you saw, I did tighten that around about three times over the two hours, just because it is going to start shrinking when it cools down. Now I think it has come out a lot better than the last one, but time will tell. Well, there's me thinking two or three hours was going to be enough for this to cool down. I'm doing exactly the same as I did in that other video. I'm going to try and rush this up now because I've got some other things I need to do today. I'm going to put this into a bucket of water to try and cool it down completely. But once that's done, I'll cut it on the bandsaw and see how we've done. It's all cooled down now. It's nice and cool to the touch. Before I put this through the bandsaw, I want to try a little experiment. Now, when my friend came round, he said that once you've got a blank or a slab similar to this, you work it similar to wood. So I'm wondering, will it go through the thickness planer? Let's go and see. Oh my, that was seriously good fun. Look how cool that is! Wow! It almost looks like it's translucent, like it's resin almost. Um, so you've got the depth for the reds and the whites and... Oh my god! This is seriously cool. I mean that is one pure solid brick of... Nothing more, milk bottles. Milk bottles and conditioning bottles. Fabric conditioner. You can all... Oh my god. Does anybody else smell wood when it's freshly cut? Or if someone gives you a piece of wood, do you, do you smell it? Guess what, over at WH Creations we smell plastic. I can almost still smell that fabric conditioner. Scented HDPE block. Oh. It's bandsaw time. Well, bye Joe, I think we've got it. Look at that. No voids. 
no marks. Oh, I think I've finally done it. Yes, it did take a lot longer in the oven. I think I left it in there, just kept on topping the thing up. Ooh, it must have been in there for at least an hour and a half maybe, something like that. Every time it just started melting down I just added more and more until eventually I could take it out, start twisting it as you saw and then I placed it into the mould. Kept it under pressure constantly. I think that's the main thing. I don't, I don't think I did that the first time. I, didn't, I don't think I tightened it down to make it as tight as possible. May have been my failure, the first attempt. But this has come out absolutely stunning. I mean, it's so smooth being over the planer. It just looks solid. Have a look. Now if we take a piece of the old stuff, as you can see, there are holes, there are pockets, gaps. No good. This stuff... All solid. Oh, I've just had a very good idea for one of these. Yeah, I think I may have a future project. I'm not going to tell you that right now. That's going to be a secret. Top, top secret. But, this is very, very interesting stuff. I mean, the things that you can do with this is almost endless. And, it's free. It's even better, isn't it? We all like something that's free. We all drink milk. Well, some of us do. Some of us drink that sort of weird alien type milk. Yeah. I'm not going to knock you. You're just weird. Yeah. Some people may call me weird. I don't care. Call me what you like. But, if you did like this video, please click the thumbs up down below. Also as well, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. Doing so is going to keep you up to date with all of my latest videos. And until the next time, I'll see you soon. Don't forget, it's all reusable.